Hi, I'm Jimmy Chang, and we're here to talk about how to cancel out a square root. Now, square roots, as you know, is related to squares. So actually, square root and squares being opposite operations, to cancel out a square root, you would just square the expression, and what happens is that will cancel the square root. Now, oftentimes this is done in equations where you have to apply the same operation to both sides. So let's do a quick demonstration. Suppose you have square root of uh, x equals to, let's just say, 3. To get rid of the square root, like I said before, you want to square this side, but as you know, in any equation, to square one side, you have to square the other side as well. So what will happen here is that the square and square root are gone. You have x is equal to 3 squared is going to be 9. Now, if there's something a little more complicated, you have square root of, let's just say, x plus 3 equals to, let's just say, 10. To get rid of the square root, you square both sides. The square and the square root are gone. You're left with x plus 3. 10 squared is 100. And then to solve for x, just subtract 3 on both sides. You have x is equal to 97. But the bottom line is when you're canceling a square root, you have to square it. But because more often than not you'll be doing it in equations, you have to do it to both sides of the equation. So I'm Jimmy Chang, and that's how to cancel a square root.